happening. All right, Dessa's coming in the house. Hey, hey, everybody. Ooh, I wanna change this to that view. And I think we're good. I am just thrilled to get the show on the road. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with me, I'm definitely gonna introduce myself. Let's get some kind of logistical stuff out of the way. So like I said, this is the Vibrant CEO Workshop. This is something very new, very fun, very different than I've ever done before. For those of you that are watching over on Facebook, welcome, welcome. You can see in the description, I also have the Zoom link. You're welcome to come over to Zoom. Allow yourself to be a little bit more seen. We've got the workbook. Hopefully you already have the workbook um, accessible. I've got mine printed. The marketing team did a great job, but it is a lot of ink. My apologies for those of you that like the digital form. That's great too. Today we're gonna be talking about passion in your work, your body and at home. Tomorrow we'll do a deep dive into improving productivity, energy, and focus for the bottom line. And then on Friday is a live Q&A day where we get to have hot seats, questions. It's a VIP space. Um, Aaliyah, I think you accidentally just did a share screen. There we have it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> that must have been your beautiful children. <laughs> I love technology. And um, for those of you in the Facebook world, you can also grab the registration link. Obviously, if you get registered, you'll get free, re free resources sent from me each and every day. You have the workbook. You also have your own personalized success advisor. So we are happy to have you. And we just get to land, right? I just want to say out loud, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for showing up. I'm proud of you for being here. Um, Aaliyah, if you can continue to admit, that would be awesome. I'm seeing more and more women coming in the room. And we all live full, productive lives. And so I honor each and every one of us for how we spend our time and for you to spend this time here with me. So big thanks to all of you that are around the world. Often I have women from lots of different time zones, lots of different continents. And that's always fun for me to see who all's there. So if you want to put in the chat, who you are, where you're watching from. Let's see some geographies. Let's see how many continents we have covered today. I'll be watching Facebook as well. I love technology. I get to multitask. I know we've got Oregon in the house. I already see Canada in the house, California. Uh, I've been flying all day. Let's do this. Yes, Leah, let's do this. Vancouver, BC. Uh, Julie Copywriter, South Florida, whoop, whoop, Boudoir Photographer, Orange County, Boulder, Colorado, Southern California, Alberta, Canada, just to name a few. So we're here in Zoom, and this is a live experience, okay? This is interactive. I do want you to stay active in the chat. Uh, the team will be compiling whatever questions come up for you as we progress through today and tomorrow. And then Friday is the live Q&A day. Yes, we'll have hot seats. Yes, I'll get into that. You all have your own personalized success advisor. Maria has reached out to you. Uh, you have Sarah there. You have Aaliyah on the team. Each and every one, make sure you utilize that time. You've got text message correspondence, email correspondence. Please know that this is a personalized private experience and we are here to support you, okay? For those of you that are watching this in the Facebook world, and it's not live, please push hashtag replay. Or if you are watching it on the replay page, yes, even if you're registered, even if you're watching this live, you can watch it again, okay? There's a replay page. For those of you that the time didn't work, there's a replay page, it's there. And like I said, you have success advisors there to give you the hand holding, um, relay your questions to me and also relay your questions every step of the way. In the workbook on page one, you'll see email address is successadvisor at mariahbrown.com, as well as a phone number. You can text at any point if you have questions. So that's 541-904-4441. You'll see it in the workbook. Please do reach out at any point. Sarah's there to do a little discovery call with you, get to know you, and that way, I like these to be super organic. And so I can pivot at any point. Yes, there's a workbook, if I don't make it through the whole workbook, we're all good. What's most important is that I'm here offering solutions and answering the questions that you specifically have. So your workbook is your guide. If you have it, um, hopefully you have it printed up. If you don't have it printed up, it's all good. I want you to grab pen and paper. I'll put the link in the chat real quick right now, at least for those of you that are in Zoom. 
Let me pop it into everyone. Okay, if you want to grab it now, you're welcome to. But also, it's okay. I don't want it to leave you feeling too distracted. Okay, just grab pen and paper. You're going to want to be able to take notes. Definitely the women that tend to work with me, they're note takers. You like to learn, okay? You like to understand the why behind the what. And so that's what the work, kind of the intention of the workbook. And don't worry, it's also been emailed to you if you're watching the replay. Um, let's see, what else? I say let's open up the vault for some solutions. Give me a yes. Give me a yes in the chat. I want to see some yeses. Yeses are always fun. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, let's open it up. Yes, let's feel vibrant. I love the yes with the cold, the, what is that called? The like amp, whatever that thing is in the three with the big old heart. Yes, yes, Robin. Yes, yes, Whitney. So ready. I'm glad to hear it. Um, yes, Wanda. Oh, it's nice. Dessa, so fun to see everybody. Oh. Okay, so like I said, there's also going to be some real women sharing their real stories. Anytime a woman pops on tomorrow or Friday, it really holds space for them. It takes a lot of courage um, to show your vulnerable self and talk about your transformation. And so I just want to honor up front the team that's behind the scenes that's making all of this possible, as well as honoring myself for who I am in the world and the way in which I serve, my family that's there to support me, and the women that come in to share their stories. So if you knew that one to two hours a day for just three days would be the ultimate catalyst to feel productive, no longer have brain fog, have energy all day, to really get clear on how to prioritize yourself and your health and be the CEO of your life and your business in an up-leveled way, to up-level that bottom line while feeling spectacular and setting boundaries, would you show up for you? To transform your sense of deep connection, not just move the goalposts. <laughs> many of us and many of the women that come in and, and lean into my work, we're over it, like we're going, we're doing, we're getting big things done in the world, right? We can give our laundry list of accomplishments and things that we've done, but what about, it's not just moving the goalpost, but it's actually focusing on who we become in the process. Because how often do we accomplish that goal and then we look in the mirror and we're still left with ourselves, okay? So what if, Today, tomorrow, and Friday, if you set aside the time to really be here, be present, watch the replays, what if that could be the time that really changes who you be? So yes, we get to move the goalpost. Yes, we get to feel spectacular. Yes, we get to feel vibrant and have deep connections. And it's not just the goal accomplishment, but actually who we be. So if you knew that, would you show up? Give me an of course in the chat. Give me an of course in the chat. Of course I would show up. Of course I would show up for myself. Of course I would move mountains. Of course I would find someone else to pick up the kids, someone else to do the facilitation of that call, someone else to do the thing. The laundry would wait, the dishes would wait, the person that could wait, the driving could wait. Of course, yeah, of course. So we get to give ourselves a gift to make ourselves a priority. And I know, I see absolutely, I know without a shadow of a doubt that while you attend this workshop, you are going to glean aha moments that will be impactful and lasting and change who you be, okay? It doesn't mean you have to take it all in. It doesn't mean you leave here with a laundry list of things to do, but a few solid nuggets that change you because you make yourself a priority. And when we make ourselves a priority, turn all the notifications off, put the thing down that you're, I, I know you, many of you, you're already multitasking, put the thing down and take a pause and take a breath and feel your body and feel yourself right here, right now, because we in this Zoom space, and in the Facebook space, for those of you watching in Facebook, we are co-creating right now and energetically we're connected. And we are all saying, I'm hungry and I want to feel spectacular and I want to be the CEO of my business, my life, my health, my relationships, and I want to do it feeling proud of who I'm being, okay? So we get to ground in, we get to learn, we get to receive. So 
I have some giveaways. I wanted to say this up front. Yes, um, simply for being here, simply for watching this. And here's what it looks like. I am giving away a very special swag bag. Aaliyah, I see, I wanna be the CEO of my life. Yes, and of my business. Yes, yes, yes. This is not something that you can go out and buy. It's really only for women that attend my retreat. I have a women's vibrancy retreat. The next one is next month and I have one this summer. So here's this beautiful swag bag. It's branded and inside there are some very special things. I pulled out a few of them. I'm not showing all of it, but there is a beautiful branded journal. There is a beautiful, let me see if I can show you guys, necklace. Some of you may notice I always wear it. Um, these are only made, they're handcrafted, only made for women that are in my space. I'm giving everybody some yummy adaptogens. You get to learn about adaptogen elixirs. And yes, for everyone who's registered, I'm emailing you free adaptogen elixir recipes today. Use them. And then whoever wins the swag bag also gets a frother to make your elixirs and a pen. Oh, and I threw this in because this is just so fun. One of these jade rollers. It's like a $200 value swag though. I can't get it open, but it's one of the jade rollers for a face. Um, I'm giving one of these away. And so here's what you do right now. Go into Facebook without getting too distracted and find my business page, Mariah Brown, M-A-R-A-Y-A, -A. Mariah Brown. I see Laura saying gorgeous. So find Mariah Brown. I'm in red, it's my business page, and you'll see that this is current live streamed, okay? And all you need to do is share it. Share it right now. I can keep track of everyone that shares it, and everyone who shares it, we're gonna pick one of you and you win a swag bag, okay? These are beautiful, they're classy, and like I said, it's not stuff that you can buy, okay? Like I said, the necklace is handcrafted only for women within the retreat space. And for those of you coming to the retreat, <laughs> surprise has now been landed. Um, in this retreat in March, women land in and it's 160 acres of land and they get to drop in and come alive. I say it's tap in, tune in, turn on. And when they come into this beautiful space with expansiveness and a space to breathe and co-create together, there will be this beautiful welcome basket on their bed. And for one of you that shares this live, I will be sending it to you in your home as a free giveaway just to say thank you because there are people in this world that need to hear this. We all get to show up as the CEO of our lives and I can't reach your community without you helping me to reach your community. So share it to your Facebook and that's all you need to do. We don't have to, you don't have to go comment and screenshot and do all the things, just share it. Okay, moving on. Um, I want to speak to the, the, the woman who has the lists, checks, checks off all the boxes, right? You have the accomplishments and people often say to you, how do you get it all done? Okay. Feels good, right? Yeah. I get a lot done. I've accomplished some amazing things in my life. And what if we could also focus on how we make people feel so that when we walk into a room, when someone feels our presence, they feel and see health and vitality and power. And they acknowledge that we as women set boundaries and we do it with surrender and trust and strength. And yes, we get stuff done. We cross off the list, we check the boxes, we, we get the degrees, the certifications, whatever it is for you, but we also focus on who we be. Because once again, people won't remember the things that we did and the things that we said, they will remember how we made them feel, okay? So when you take an account of how do I feel and when people feel me, what do they feel? Okay, so for those of you that don't know who I am, I'm Mariah Brown. I am a Yale and functional medicine trained women's health provider. 
I have been serving women for over 20 years now, did my nurse practitioner training at Yale and finished in 2007. So since 2007, I've been running the women's health and heading up international health projects all over the world. And I now work online. I work with ambitious women who are ready to be the CEO of their lives. And they want to make sure that they prioritize their energy. They want healthy hormones. They want to feel vibrant. They want to feel passionate and they want rock and libido. Okay. So I have a signature program. I have a podcast. There's retreats. There's a lots of options. I'm also a mom. I have three young kids, 10 and younger. I'm the breadwinner of my home. I brought my husband home July of 2021. He's what we call the chief household officer. And I can remember a time when I was absolutely exhausted. I remember sitting on the back steps with a two-year-old and a three-month-old and I was doing a lot. Uh, I was doing a lot. <laughs> Running businesses, selling a house, buying a house, uh, mothering children, planning my 20-year class reunion, planning a family reunion. I mean, doing all the things. And did I listen to my body? No, because really I was tired. I had brain fog. I didn't want to be touched. I felt trapped in my body. I felt trapped in my life. And I didn't have the courage or the self-worth to set aside the time to say, but I need to feel good. And I need to take a pause so that I can really continue to be the CEO of my life and set the example to my children. So to make a long story short, I was in introduced to the Institute of Functional Medicine. I transformed my hormones and my adrenals and my thyroid and my libido and all the stuff. And as I learned and continued to run the women's health, I thought more women need to hear this. And in the midst of it, I built a business and I'm a founder and I'm a CEO and I have employees and staff and agencies and all of the moving pieces. And what I know is that we cannot do this while we burn out because then there's nothing left of us. <laughs> So we get to slow down to speed up. I've found ways and I'm perpetually working on ways to be more in my feminine energy, to continue to care for myself. And what I want is for you to find your own way in that. So in the midst of this workshop, we're gonna dig in. I hope that you're given your walk away with some really clear and tangible and specific game plan to go, yes, these are some changes that I can start making today. Okay, because what I know is that when we fill up our cup and we are clear on our path and our sleep is solid and our energy is great and we feel passionate, we are on top of the world and it all flows with ease. It does not have to be hard, okay? Not just for the next touchdown, but so that we can move the goalposts while feeling spectacular knowing that um, we're having that ripple effect in the world. Okay, so I am I'm just so excited to support all of you. For those of you in the chat, let's say I'm the CEO. Put in the chat, I'm the CEO. I'm the CEO and feel that. What does that feel like? I'm the CEO. Maybe you're already a CEO of your business. I'm the CEO of my life. I'm the CEO of who I be. I'm the CEO of how I choose to respond. Listen, while we run businesses, there's snafus, there's speed bumps, there's all sorts of being mothers, oh my goodness, being wives, wow. Ownership, yeah. We take ownership and we do it feeling spectacular. Okay. And so for me, as I've gone through these journeys and prioritize my well being so that I feel spectacular. And if we meet in person, I trust that when you feel my energy, even though I'm only five foot one, you're going to feel I'm a CEO. And I've come from a place of love and I came for come from the place of power. I was just drinking from my water bottle, I'm taking a sip of water right now. It says love on it. I've got my love water bottle. Mm. Infusing it with love, infusing it with love for myself, infusing it with love for myself. And so I brought my husband home 
Now that was some, some stretching, right? So I'm being the CEO of my business and now the CEO of my household and the breadwinner. Talk about complexity and how we express our feminine and masculine. So we're going to talk about that a little bit today to get into what does that really look like to be in the pull energy, to be in our feminine at times, being that push, logic, get stuff done. So today we've got an hour and a half, tomorrow hour and a half, Friday hour and a half. Replays available. Friday we'll have some of the team master coaches within my space. It's going to be yummy. It's going to be a, a juicy. And we get to create a little bit of distraction so that we can feel our power. So it's not just hearing the comments of how does she do it, but wow, I feel her power. I feel her surrender. I feel her trust. Because I'm also a midwife and I've caught hundreds of babies. And for a woman, when I observe her in that power moment of pushing that baby through and crowning and that power moment of transition, it's when she surrenders. It's when she trusts, we create life. So we can be the CEO, we don't have to force it, okay? We can be gentle, we can receive. Okay, so if that's you, I want you to know that right now I want you to make the intention, set the vision right now, that you will finish our time together feeling connected and balanced and passionate and energetic. See yourself as that CEO, whatever that is for you. The CEO of your health, we're gonna get into some specifics around how do you advocate, advocate for yourself? What tests do you ask for? What providers do you wanna see? Hmm. Set the intention to feel connected, yeah. See your vision so that there's freedom and there's power, okay? So let me pour into you so that you can pour into yourself. So if we get to the workbook, what is missing in my passion? It's fascinating, I looked it up online, the definition of passion, strong and barely controllable emotion. Hmm. So when you think about a strong and barely controllable emotion, what does that look like for you? Where is your passion? Do you feel passion in your work? Do you feel passion for a hobby? Do you run? Do you knit? Do you travel? Do you love mangoes? Do you love music? Do you love to dance? Where's your passion? Your passion's on vacation. You love to travel. Yeah, I see that. Right. And for the senses, we get to think, what is my passion? What are the things I'm passionate about looking to see? What do I love looking at? What do I love smelling? What do I love hearing? What do I love tasting? And just write it down. What, do, what am I passionate about and what is missing? So where is my passion strongest and what is missing? Am I sitting at the computer and I love my work and I can sit here for 12 hours at a time and yet I'm neglecting really feeling connected in my marriage. I'm neglecting passionate workouts, passionately sitting and taking a pause to enjoy my food or my sip of my love water. What is missing? I think of, you can write down pies, P-I-E-S-S. -S. It's a pies check-in. Physical, intellectual, Emotional, sexual, and spiritual. Pies, physical, intellectual, emotional, spiritual, sexual. Where is your passion strong? And where do we need to get in and look in the mirror and do some work? And what if your ROI was directly linked to your passion? because once again, it's who you be. A few weeks ago, I was at this mastermind in Salt Lake City, Utah, and everyone to be at the mastermind has to be pulling in a minimum of seven figures. And um, one of the gentlemen that spoke, he just sold his business to Walmart for 2 billion. 
and they were asking him questions, you know, as the deal was happening and, you know, there was so many moving pieces and he was hiring all these people and all the SOPs and getting the systems in place. And they said, well, what did you do? And he said, I focused on who I was being. I up-leveled my personal coaching, my mindset coaching. I up-leveled my health. Sure, I went and bought a Versace robe and I bought a house, but he said, what was most important is I focused on who I was being. And so what I wanna urge you to really think about and be in self-reflection about is what am I passionate about? And where is that strongly being expressed and what is missing? Okay, where am I not taking care of myself? Even in just how you look in the mirror. As women, we stand in front of that mirror naked and often we speak to ourselves in ways that we would ne- makes me emotional. We would never allow our daughters to speak to themselves that way. And so can we shift the passion with which we see ourselves? The path in, passion with which we approach our lives So why? Because what happens is women come to me and they enroll in my programs and they come to my retreats and they come to these workshops and they're exhausted. They're fried by the afternoon. They're pushing through. I got it. Just going to drink some more caffeine. Some are using Adderall just to keep going. They have no energy for their relationships or their children at the end of the day or they're fried. They're not sleeping well. They don't have the motivation to actually put the the interest into action and change what they're eating, or they end up on really strict, really constricting diets that are very controlling and I don't think are serving them. Their brain is spinning. They're waking from two to four in the morning. They're feeling bloated, heavy. Often they don't like the way their skin is looking. It's affecting their confidence. And many women say, I'm uncomfortable in my own clothes. I can't, I can't button the top because I get so bloated after a meal or I look in the mirror and I don't recognize who I see. So are you being the CEO in some areas of your lives, but not all? And as you think about this, I want you to write it down. Okay. Where are you overdoing it and where are you underdoing? Okay, we don't get to fake it till we make it in this scenario. Okay, we either pay now or we pay later. And you get to reap the rewards of your efforts when you really focus on taking care of yourself. Okay. So this is not about fear of stillness. Okay, a lot of women we build, we serve our communities greatly. We build great businesses, but is it out of fear of stillness? Is it out of fear of feeling, fear of actually taking a pause to look and that we would be paralyzed by inaction? Okay, so why passion? Why passion? How does it impact our hormones, our productivity, our energy, our mood, our longevity? Oh my gosh, I could talk about this till I'm blue in the face. So why passion? From a hormonal standpoint, I want to talk about dopamine, oxytocin, testosterone. Many of you hopefully have heard of these hormones, okay? It's it's what comes first, the chicken or the egg, okay? So dopamine, it's the hormone of I wrote down my to-do list and I crossed something off and it feels really good. It's the hormone that creates productivity in a society. Oxytocin, it's the love hormone. It's the hormone of ecstasy, of childbirth, of breastfeeding, of orgasm, of connection with community. Okay, testosterone, the hormone that's produced when we sleep, my friends, gives us confidence, it gives us libido, it gives us healthy hair, lots of energy, muscle tone, cortisol. It's a hormone of fight, flight, or freeze, and here's the deal. Cortisol is kryptonite to the libido. When is cortisol produced? When we're under stress. So in all of these scenarios, if all we're doing is checking off the boxes and we're getting dopamine hits, guess what? Dopamine is also the hormone of addiction. Addiction to work, addiction to shopping, addiction to cocaine, addiction to sugar, addiction to alcohol. That's dopamine. Okay. 
if we continue to go, go, go and accomplish things and we don't take pause to really relish in what am I passionate about? What feels good? Can I take a pause and deeply connect in my relationships? That's oxytocin. Okay, so I'd like to see it in the chat. When you think about what I've talked about so far, what area is if, of your passion feels like it's strongest and what area feels like it could really use some help? I'd love to see it in the chat. Just one word. It doesn't have to be a lot. Just one word. Let's see what, what, kind, of, what kind of group do we have working with and I'll look in the Facebook world while you guys are doing that. Where are you strong and what needs some love in your passion? I'm seeing all the shares, that's fun. Where are you strong and where are you passion? Work has been getting a lot of passion, been making changes to shift my health and social life is getting more attention. Yeah. So why? Most passionate about my business, my art, creating beauty in the world. Yeah. Yeah. And we get to feel that, we get to embody it, feel it in our bodies. And what happens is when we take that pause to allow ourselves to relish, where in your body do you feel it? When you allow yourself to feel passionate about that thing. Now cortisol goes down, libido comes up, okay? We produce more serotonin, so now we feel happy, which is gonna to convert to melatonin and we're gonna sleep better tonight. It allows us to feel productive and get things done without the propensity towards addiction, okay? It helps our nervous system take a pause to say, I'm safe, I'm safe. Passion in the direction I'm headed with life changes and new businesses, more attention needs to be paid to my health and my voice for myself, yeah. And how awesome that we just simply get to be curious we get to approach it, not from a place of self-judgment, self but I'm curious. And I'm coming from a place of loving myself and being proud of what I have done and the things that I have accomplished. And what else? How can we strengthen and create more robustness in the relationship that you have with yourself and your friends and your partners, your husbands? your coworkers in a way that allows your nervous system to feel safe. I just did a podcast that just went live today. Yeah, today on vulnerability and specifically women being vulnerable with women. Ooh, such a juicy conversation, right? So I midwife women through chapters of change, right? I don't attend births anymore, although I would if somebody asked me and the timing was right because I love getting my birth fix. But our, it's around acknowledging that we are in chapters of change. We're in chapters of change, perpetually changing. We as women are dynamic, ever-changing being. Listen, the moon pulls tides and pulls our menstrual cycles. We are different each day, each week, each month, each year, each chapter of our lives. And so for me, I love holding space for women to get clear on what is it that I love? Who do I want to be in this chapter of my life? How do I want to create? What do I want to create? Okay, so put in the passionate about my creativity, need to get back my passion for self relationships in the day to day. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about three ways I can bring in more feminine and more pull energy and, um, and, I'll, and I'll explain why, but I want to share a visual. Let me pull it up. And I love this stuff. It's so juicy. Share screen, where did the share screen button go? Here it is, okay. So we get to feel passionate because once again, people don't remember what we say. Yes, it's fun to have our lists of accomplishments and to be proud of the businesses that we build, but what they remember is how we made them feel. And particularly for women, there's this pull and push energy, OK? 
Okay. So yes, there's times, especially as CEOs, where we are in push. I think of push as masculine. We are willing things to happen. We are in logic. We are controlling. We are producing. We are sturdy. We are linear. We're going. We're doing. And I'm admitting someone. There we go. Um, when we allow ourselves to drop into that pull energy, to feel our bodies, to take a pause with, what am I passionate about? To come from a place of desire, listen into my intuition, allow more flexibility and feeling and receiving and spontaneity and allow the day and the conversations to become more circular, to have more flow and more being. It's spectacular what happens because we actually get to slow down and reassess, who do I want to be in the world? If I look at how I've been, is it serving me? Is it serving the people that I'm serving? When I look at who I'm being in the midst of my marriage, is it working? Or am I building, building, going, going, and I don't have time or space to nurture and cultivate a loving relationship? When really, you want to be seen. You want to be heard. You want to feel acknowledged. And so do your friends and your coworkers, right? And so three ways I can bring in more feminine pull energy. When you look at that list of pull versus push, what are some things that starting today you can shift? Can I allow a pause? Okay. Can I bring in a bit more gratitude? Can I focus on my senses? Okay, not just grateful, not just gratitude, but right now I'm going to think about gratitude from the perspective of what I hear. Right now I'm going to take a pause and I'm going to think from a place of, of gratitude around what I feel in my body. Okay, maybe, maybe your hip is hurting because you've been sitting at the computer too long, but wait. There are friends out there who are paralyzed and feel nothing. And so can we take a pause and feel grateful and feel our bodies drop into our senses, breathe. Okay. Flow, listen to our intuition because when we are caring for ourselves and our hormones are solid and our energy is solid and our cup is filled up, then we see the path it's like, oh, there, I get it. I see it. I hear it. And we, we have the esteem privilege as women to follow that. And it's spectacular, particularly when we allow space to quiet in. So for some of you that have been following me for a while, a number of you I see are coming to the retreat. They're in women's vibrancy code. You see that in November and December, I took space and I allowed myself to get quiet. Do I feel authentic to the work that I'm doing? Do I feel in alignment with the woman I'm serving? And what needs to change? When I look at who I'm being in my household and in my relationship, for me, as the breadwinner of the home, there were definitely days where I felt like, man, this is so much like the pressure on my shoulders of being in my quote unquote masculine and push. It was a lot. And so how do, how do we pivot within my marriage dynamic to go, wait a minute, I want to be soft and flowing and intuitive and receiving. And that includes our sexual relationship. Where can I really be in that surrender space? Speak up for what I desire, but allow it to be more circular. Okay. Um, one other thing that you can do to, well, there's full, the, the feminine and full energy. And then I also think about Next page, when I feel run down, mood is not ideal. When I know I'm overdoing it, what are some simple shifts I can make? It's all of this that I'm talking about. Write it down from what you've heard me say so far. What is a simple shift that you can make? Um, another idea is and one of my mindset coaches. For those of you in Women's Vibrancy Code, and you know Scott, he was my mindset coach for a couple of years before I brought him into Women's Vibrancy Code. He had me write down 50 reasons why. 50 reasons why I'm spectacular, 
50 reasons why women deserve to hire me, 50 reasons why my children love me, my husband loves me, I'm an addition in the community, whatever it may be. Because often what happens is if we're resisting receiving, if we're resisting allowing ourselves to really embody passion, underneath that is often a lack of self-worth, a lack of self-esteem. So if instead we take a moment, just write down on a piece of paper, number one, number two, number three, all the way down to 50, and give yourself the challenge of writing down 50 reasons why. 50 reasons why. And watch what happens when you feel run down, your mood is not, not ideal, you know that you're overdoing it. Take a pause and just look through the list and remind yourself, I'm spectacular. I've done big things in my life. I've served a lot of people. And I am building a tremendous legacy in this world. And there's a lot of people that need to receive what I have to give. And this is why, right? We get to change our state. Change our state. Get up, move. If Once again, if... if if, if you're just like, you've noticed that you've been going, 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 doing, 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 you know the candle is burnt at both ends, we can create 60 second moments where we just take a pause and do some sit-ups and push-ups. Put on a song, put on some music, change your state. Go take a shower if you need to. Drink some water, drink some green juice, drink your adaptogen elixir. Come and ask me questions around, well, what's going on physiologically? Why do I feel so stressed out all the time? Why do I feel so anxious? Well, maybe there's something in your gut. Maybe you've got a gut dysbiosis and there's an overgrowth of a certain bacteria and another bacteria is low and I can order your GI map and we can look at it and you go, oh my gosh, there's quantifiable reasons here why I feel sad or why I have heartburn or why my voice crackles when I try to speak a lot. That's not me by the case, by the way. We can look at your adrenals. Okay, what's going on with your cortisol? Is your morning when you first wake up, your cortisol is off the charts, which tells me while you're sleeping, you're really not sleeping because it's pumping out cortisol all night long. And so instead, in the morning, you may be waking up, but you don't feel rested. You actually feel quite toxic and dehydrated. And so now your mood feels run down throughout the day and you're pushing it. You're still getting stuff done. I see you. But are you doing it with vibrancy? Are you doing it with passion? Are you doing it with joy? Are you doing it with boundary setting? And are you doing it with support in your arsenal, so to speak, in your counsel that you bring in that is here to help you come up with reasons um, physiologically and there to help support you with trauma release and mindset and your relationship with your sexuality. Maybe it's your thyroid. I mean, especially I think about women who they just feel like I'm so run down. I go and go and I do and I don't understand. My body's not the same. I'm still tired and I feel like I'm doing all the things. I have a gluten-free diet and a dairy-free diet and I don't eat any sugar and all my food is organic and it's been grown on the Himalayan mountains and it's been blessed by a monk and all the things, but I'm still not feeling great. Anybody relate? I'm doing all the things. It feels impossible. And yet, mm, what if there's a little subtle shift that rather than gripping the steering wheel as tight as you can and trying to control it all in that push energy, that actually what needs to happen is just a little bit of surrender and a little bit of, you know what, I need some help. I would love to receive. Maybe we look and it's like, oh, Look at your comprehensive thyroid panel. You've had blood tests before, but the tests that were looked at, the wrong ranges were, were being considered normal. They ordered the wrong tests. Listen, I was trained at Yale. I feel like I got a pretty good education as a nurse practitioner. I was taught the same thing. I've had to learn over the years that, oh man, there are much better tests out there to look under the hood because if you have continued to push and you go, I've been to providers. I explain to them that I feel like I'm burning the candle at both ends. 
my body aches, I'm struggling with brain fog, I've got this strange bloating, my mood is all over the place, I feel really sad at times or anxious at times, and, and I know that I'm overdoing it and I feel run down, but then my provider orders tests and they say everything looks normal and they tell me to take a multivitamin or here's a prescription and you're like, but I think that there's something else. Okay, I want you to trust that. There likely is something else. Right, exactly, Julie, to do everything everyone says you should do. Man, and nowadays there is a bazillion experts in the world. I feel like since the pandemic, everybody became a coach. Everybody's a health expert. It's like, ah, it's got to be overwhelming. It's like you go down the, the aisle in the grocery store and everything's all natural and all organic and the best da, 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 doctor approved. And you go, how do I make a choice here? Well, you get to quiet down. You get to listen inside. You get to say, I'm open to receiving. I'm worthy of receiving. Rest is not earned, it is required. And I'm going to find counsel from someone who has a tried and proven system that has a track record. And if they're not, if I've tried and I'm not being given the solutions that are working, I will keep trying and I will keep knocking on doors until I find the solutions I'm looking for because I am choosing to be the CEO of my body and the CEO of my life because I want to feel present in my relationships. And yes, I want to be the CEO of my business and make a huge ripple effect, a reflect, ripple effect in the world. But I want to do it with grace and feeling spectacular. Okay. Um, let's have everybody put in the chat. I'm worthy. I am worthy. I am worthy. Yes, I am worthy. I am worthy. Not because it's something you've earned. Not because you've made all the millions of dollars and checked all the boxes and got the certifications and built the businesses and got the degrees and found the perfect husband. Have the children that are just like the perfect children. You're worthy simply because you are. It's your birthright. And you still get to write down your 50 reasons why. And you get to revisit them and you get to look at them. So let's talk about um, some nutritional and supplement changes I can make to increase my energy, passion, and pleasure. Just to give you some specifics. It's nice to have some nuggets, right? Who wants some nuggets? If you know how to spell nugget, put nugget in the chat. I want some nuggets. I want some specifics so I can feel more energy. And if there's something specific, if it's energy, passion, pleasure, if it's sleep, if it's mood, if it's weight, um, if you want nuggets in a specific area, I would love to see that in the chat too. Nugget. <laughs> Kristen, it's two Gs, sleep. Yeah, sleep. Okay, let's give some nuggets for sleep. Anybody else? Nugget in any specific area? And Dessa, just as a heads up, I just recorded a three-part series in the Women's Vibrancy Code podcast that's all on sleep. Mood. Mm-hmm. Mood. Yeah. Let's get some nuggets. Low estrogen. Mm-hmm. Low estrogen nuggets. I, I got you. I got you. Let's go. Um, okay. So let's start with sleep. Um, how to keep tummy happy while traveling. Yeah, Erica, and you and I've had some of those conversations. Tummy while traveling. Okay. Um, nuggets for sleep. Where do I start? First is to go to the Women's Vibrancy Code podcast. Follow it. Give it a five star. Give it a review. Da -da. And there's a three-part series. I dive deep into, first of all, why sleep. There's a lot of reasons why we need sleep that we don't actually realize. And so I encourage you to listen to it. And there's a lot of nuggets in there to give you some key takeaways. But um, Dessa, I think if I remember correctly, you're in your 40s um, for sleep. First of all, are you, are you overdoing it on caffeine? Let's just call a spade a spade, okay? For those of you that think that you need caffeine in order to function through your day, let me tell you, 
um, it might be giving you energy, but it's actually not giving you sustained energy. And one of the challenges with caffeine is it's depleting your adrenals. And it's also um, decreasing your absorption of the nutrients from the food that you're eating. Okay. And for many, it can create an increase in anxiety, uh, a more of a roller coaster in your blood sugar management, which then affects your mood and your sleep. Um, 30s. Okay, got it, Dessa. Um, and so can you just simply cut out caffeine? Okay. And I know some are like, what? You're going to take away my coffee? I remember when I first cut out caffeine, it was like eight years ago. My husband and I were going to do this 10 day. It's called Tread 10. And I was like, I don't want to do that. I, I like my Earl Grey tea every morning and no way I'm not letting go of gluten. I don't have a problem with gluten. And oh my goodness. I could not believe the change that it made and the changes continued to compile. So that might be one consideration. The other thing is your blood sugar management. Okay, so this is for anyone asking about mood, about sleep, about hormones, um, about traveling, keeping your energy stable. We really can do a much better job, all of us, at maintaining our blood sugar. So what does that look like for me? Many of you who have attended uh, my workshops, I talk about this every single time. I'm hoping you could probably reiterate it without me even saying it, but it looks like a few things. You wake up in the morning and within 30 to 60 minutes of waking, you have some quality protein and some quality fat. For me, I drink my adaptogen elixir. I have my press here. I refill it throughout the day. In here, I have my adaptogens. I have some CBD oil or some MCT oil. I have collagen powder, hot water. I put some dandy blend so it has that kind of coffee-esque flavor. It tastes yummy. It's an enjoyable experience and I'm getting nutrients into my body from the get-go, okay? Then I'm not skipping meals. I'm getting lots of plants in my diet, okay? I have had a handful of nuts. I had a little bit of a salad earlier. I had some blueberries. Um, I had two eggs, some gluten-free toast. Okay, so we're, I'm a big fan of getting frequent meals, like every two to four hours, never going more than four hours without food during the day. So we wanna keep our blood sugar steady. And what happens is many people go, I'm gluten-free and I'm dairy-free and I'm sugar-free and I'm processed food to the max. You can look up in your pantry and you see all the little processed foods that have the, the GF symbol but can we go to actual whole foods? Um, what's your take on intermittent fasting? It's a great question um, and it's a controversial topic. I am not a fan of intermittent fasting in the morning, particularly for women. Um, I think that our adrenal well-being is a top priority. Our adrenals then impact our thyroid. There is a relationship with the hypothalamus, which is where we store trauma. There's a relationship between the adrenals and our ovaries, as well as our gut. So the hormones that we're producing, the ways in which we are absorbing our nutrients, the amount of serotonin that's produced so that we feel happy, all of that. And I think our adrenals need quality nutrients first thing in the morning. Now, with that being said, intermittent fasting in the evening, yes, yes, okay? Within four hours of going to bed, once you get into your evening hours, your metabolism starts slowing down so it's not gonna absorb the food that you're eating as quickly anyway. And if we wanna get true restorative sleep, so Dessa, this also goes to your question about sleep. If we can, instead of having blood flow going to the gut to digest, and instead have blood flow going to the brain to actually rest, rejuvenate, file away our memories and our experiences from the day, detoxify, that's the time to do the intermittent fast. Okay, so we stop the late night snacking. We finish our dinner within two to four hours of going to bed. You can have some light tea in the evening without sugar. Okay, drink water, hydrate. And then you go to bed, you now sleep for eight hours and there's your intermittent fast. But when you wake up, you're getting nutrients and you're eating throughout the day. Every meal, can you say I've got three colors, right? I always keep avocados in the house. There's my green, plus I've got some fat. I always keep eggs in the house for those of you that like eggs. Okay, so blood sugar stabilization is gonna be important, particularly for the woman like 30 and older. As your estrogen level starts to go down a little bit, estrogen and insulin are directly related. So insulin being the hormone that comes from your pancreas 
that kind of responds to when our body is exposed to glucose, either because um, our body has produced glucose in a fight, flight, or freeze, or we've eaten something and now we've been exposed to glucose. We want insulin to be able to um, do good stuff with the glucose. Let's just leave it as simple as that. And so um, keeping our blood sugar steady becomes that much more important in our 30s, 40s, 50s, and beyond. Okay. Mood, same thing, blood sugar maintenance, as well as let's make sure that your gut is solid, your adrenals are solid. Let's look at your hormones. Okay. Actually look under the hood quantifiably. Let's look at your thyroid. Let's look at your vitamin D level, D as in dog. If your vitamin D is low or your thyroid is sluggish, you're more likely to feel a little bit flat, a little bit down. Okay. If your thyroid is up, or you're producing a lot of cortisol, you're more likely to feel a little bit anxious, okay? Right? If your B vitamins are low, you're more likely to feel a little bit sluggish and toxic because your body doesn't have what it needs to properly detoxify the body, okay? So what do we talk about from nutritional and supplemental changes? I talked about blood sugar management. I mentioned adaptogens. So a few adaptogens in particular with this list would be Shatavari. Shatavari is great for like juiciness, that feminine juiciness, the va-va-voom, right? Um, bring in Shatavari and ashwagandha at the same time. It's kind of like the masculine and feminine and ashwagandha is gonna, produce, gonna really support your blood sugars and um, your thyroid well-being. And if you don't know what these things are, it's okay. Reach out to your success advisor. Okay. If you don't know who your success advisor is, put in the chat, success advisor. If you don't know who my success advisor is, put it in the chat and we can make sure someone from the team reaches out to you. Um, and I see Sherry interacting with Whitney. That's fun. Cordyceps is another adaptogen that's great for stamina. Okay. So if you're someone that you feel kind of sluggish, you feel kind of tired, you have the afternoon slump, and maybe you're open to the idea of taking caffeine out, but you go, well, what else am I going to do? You can add cordyceps, C-O-R-D-Y, cordyceps. You can get it encapsulated. You can add it into your adaptogen elixirs. There's great powders out there. It's great for stamina without the coffee buzz, okay? And the other one would be lion's mane. Lion's mane comes from a mushroom. It's great to help our brain clarity, our focus, okay? They're just simple changes. Try on one. Add it in every day. The beauty with adaptogens is you really can't go wrong. The only one is rhodiola. Other than rhodiola, give it a try. Do it a couple times in the day. See how you feel. Do it for a few weeks and see if it makes any difference, okay, in your sleep, in your mood, in your, um, oh, and then the, the, the travel tracking. That's something, Erica, we can continue to talk about. And then with low estrogen nuggets, um, your phytoestrogen-rich foods. So that would be quality soy, ground flax red clover, black cohosh, all your plants. It could also be for some of you adding in a supplemental DHEA, which comes from the adrenals, but it's a precursor to estrogen and testosterone. Okay. For some of you possibly adding in a supplemental, it's called Pueria Marifica. <laughs> Aaliyah, if you know how to spell it, if you can put it in the chat, it's P-U-E-R-E-R-I-A, Marifica, M-E-R-I-F-I-C-A. Marifica, Pueria Marifica. It's great to help support estrogen levels if you're someone that has low. And here's the deal. For some, bioidentical hormone replacement therapy is not all bad, okay? It's bioidentical. It's not going and getting synthetic horse urine and progestin. That's not what I'm talking about. If you have a provider who's like, oh, you have low estrogen here. Let me just give you some Prempro. Let me give you some I don't know, whatever they're going to give you. And no, you don't have a uterus. So you don't need progesterone now. But you can find a compounding pharmacy in your area. And you can find someone who specializes in this. I can order testing for you and we can look quantifiably. At, well, what's the picture here? Mix that with the symptoms that are most prevalent for you. Yeah, you got it. Marifica, Pueria Marifica. That's right. Yeah. Okay, so for estrogen, that might be a good help. Mm -hmm. And just to acknowledge and understand what is happening so that once again, we can be the CEO of our health. Okay. If you've gone to provider and they're like, oh, that's just part of aging. 
Ah, uh, that's just part of being 30. You just have PCOS. Here, here's a pill. You go, hmm. Do I want someone who I take my car into the dealership because the check engine light is on and they take a hammer to the check engine light and go, there you go, lights out. Or do you want to take your car to someone who looks underneath the hood and says, let's figure out what's going on. Okay, not just, oh, you've been diagnosed with this XYZ thing. Let's, let's look at the foundation. We can order some tests. Look at your nutrition, look at your personalized supplementation, look at your mindset. Yes, it's relevant. There's a reason why prayer works, my friends. There's a reason why there's a placebo effect. And I believe we also get to look at old trauma, okay? It is impacting all of it. It's impacting our inflammation and our overall well-being, okay? Um, so when I prioritize my health, my passion and well-being, what will change? Okay. What will change for each of you from so far, what I've talked about so far, what will change? If you start shifting how you prioritize your well-being, what will change? If your mood is more stable, what will change? If your sleep is more solid, what will change? If you're less irritable at home, what will change? If you love your work and you shift how you prioritize yourself and you fill up your cup, what will change? Put it in the chat. What will change? What will be different? What will change? What will be different? More play, more joy, more consistency. Yeah. More confidence, more fitness, more energy, more joy. Yeah. Um, this is a long one. Um, less stress, better relationships, able to see the whole picture, not just what's in front of you. Yeah. When I prioritize my, my well-being, what will change? Yeah. And when that changes, then what? What's the ripple effect? What's the domino effect of having more confidence, more fitness, and more energy, and more joy? Why is that important? What will that change? I mean, I can think of all sorts of things that has changed for me turn my marriage around, that's for sure. Turn my sex life around, that's for sure. Turned around my enjoyment and how I do my work. And sure, there's some growing pains. Our unconscious mind doesn't want to change. What? When we butt up against trying to do um, the same thing but do it a different way, the unconscious mind says, uh-uh, uh-uh. And so what comes up? Upper limiting, self-sabotage, not prioritizing it because change can feel confronting. But when we get clear, not just on what we want to be different, but why we want it to be different and what that will then impact, now we've got some motivation. When that little stinking thinking bird on our little right shoulder is like, mm -mm, that's not safe. What if it doesn't work? What if that new version of you has some backlash? What if people don't recognize you? What if people don't accept you the same way? What do you mean I'm going to prioritize myself? What do you mean I'm not going to just work 12 to 14 hours a day? What do you mean I'm not going to continue to veg out in front of the TV rather than re actually addressing my relationship and, and digging into it? No. It's confronting and it's potent. And we're able to serve more people. Yes. Yes. Better relationships with friends. Yes. And our relationships feel like they have depth. And they have fulfillment. And they feel rich. And they feel connected. And at times, some friendships go away. And that's okay. While we show up as the CEO of our lives. Okay, because what I'm talking about is a blueprint of simple steps 
and a proven system that I promise works. Okay, I promise this works when you just simply make the changes consistently over time. And so we've talked about a lot of different things. I'm curious, you're welcome to put in the chat if you have any specific questions from things I've talked about so far. But we just pick a couple and start implementing them because otherwise we're just sitting here and you're listening to me talk and I'm talking out to the abyss. That's not what I'm, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to waste my words. I want my words to land and go back to the beginning when I said, set your vision, make the commitment. I'm going to do this. You're setting aside the time to be here. And I know, and you know, you have a lot of other things you could be doing with your time. So you're setting aside time to be here. What do you want to do with it? What are you willing to implement? What are you willing to change? Okay. Maybe it's something as simple as I'm going to do a better job at hydrating. I'm going to go get my beautiful water bottle that has a crystal and has the word love on it. It makes me feel so good. But it's not going to just sit here on my desk. I'm actually going to put the water in my body and I'm going to drink it. Okay, I'm not going to just have this page of notes. I'm going to take those notes and I'm going to pick a couple of things that I put into action so that I be the CEO of my life. Okay, the CEO of my health. Because when, yes, I'm going to do a better job at hydrating and exercising. Yeah, simple. And that is part of you showing up as a CEO. Because instead, if we don't exercise, well, we don't get the endorphins, we don't get the, the benefits of, and listen, when we exercise, your brain clarity will be stronger, your heart will be stronger, of course, your hormones will be stronger, your stress, stress reduction will be stronger, your detoxification pathways will be stronger, especially if you sweat. And for a woman in your 40s, 50s and beyond, specifically getting in those times to exercise that include actual weight bearing exercise during week two and week three of your menstrual cycle. Pause. I'll make sure you know what that means. Now we're really talking. Okay. So for those of you who are like, what does that mean? Week one, week two. Okay. So day, if, if you are bleeding and also this is relevant if you're no longer bleeding or if you're on contraception or if you don't have a uterus or you're beyond menopause, day one for the bleeders is the first day that you bleed. Okay. So week one is your bleeding week if you have a menstrual cycle. For those of you that don't have a menstrual cycle, tomorrow, the free giveaway is my menstrual tracker. I want you to download it. I want you to use it. I want you to track. Okay. So you're going to track all the things. Okay. I've watched the apps. I've looked out. There's nothing out in the world I've ever seen that has a comprehensive tracker like this because we are dynamic beings. Okay. The moon pulls tides. There are times in the month that it makes more sense to be in a creative space. There are times in the month that it makes sense to have really big energetic sex, other times to rest. There are times in the month that makes better sense to make a nice warm soup. And sometimes it makes sense to eat a yummy, fresh, raw salad. There are times in the month that makes more sense to do your TED talk, publish your book, be out there and put it into action. And ironically for me right now, I'm week four in my cycle, which is generally not the time that I would do a workshop like this, but it just happened to fall that way because I'm in my fall season. So this is not the time for me to do big weights, run a marathon, push, push, push. I'm adding an extra supplementation that's specific to my physiology so that I can show up fully and present. But for you probably may notice my energy is slightly different. So when we're talking about exercise, we need weight bearing exercise to engage those muscles, to produce testosterone, to get the brain firing. So if, we, if week one is our bleeding time, or for those of you that track, track for three months, you'll see the patterns. And if you work with me, I can help you look at it and go, there's your week one, even though you're not bleeding. That's the time to be more like yin yoga, forest bathing, soft walk. Week two, our springtime, that's the time you do the big weights, weights, okay? You lift weights, you do your HIIT workout, you kind of push a little bit, do your power yoga, 
Okay, week three, same thing. That's your summertime. That's when you're ovulating. It's like, woo, I'm at the top of the world. I can do it all. Big exercise. Okay, lots of protein. And so Wanda, I love that you say you want to fit in more exercise. So we schedule it. We be the CEO of our schedule. And we also allow ourselves to do it in a way that's personalized, where we're showing up as the CEO. And Wanda, if that makes you too stressed out and you're like, I can't even handle all that. I just want to fit in simple exercise. Then you do that. Okay. I meet you where you're at. Hydrating. We're going to drink more water. Okay. In an ideal world, it's not stored in plastic. Right now I have my celery juice. I have my water. I have my adaptogen elixir. I have my amazing crystal. That's my favorite friend. I mean, like, <laughs> I get to do all these things and that's what works for me. Of course, I did my meditation in my in front of my altar space before this. That's what works for me to pour in and fill up, to tap in, tune in, and turn on. And you get to figure out what it is for you. So Whitney, I see take action. So good, improve sleep hygiene. Yeah. Carla, really, truly, if you go to the Women's Vibrancy Code podcast, listen to that three-part series. It's all on sleep. There's so much goodness in there, okay? And as we implement these things and we prioritize our health and our passion and our well being and our business and our bottom line and our team members and our project management systems and our CRMs and our KPIs and our SOPs, if you're someone who also runs a business. But we take a pause and we allow spaciousness to be more in that pull energy and make our passion a priority and make our well being a priority. Not just, oh crap, there's this symptom that showed up and putting out the fire in front of you, but taking steps today to be the CEO of your health as a preventive measure. Because I promise you, my friends, if you don't do it now, you will pay later. And as a healthcare provider, I have served many of the women and men, mainly women, don't have time, don't have time, not a priority. No, 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 I'm too busy strategy, too busy building, too busy serving, too busy building a mom, too busy. And I get it, like we all have a lot on our plates, but the too busy, don't have the time, don't have the money, at some point will come back to bite you. So what can shift? And then we sleep better and then we feel more confident and then we feel seen and heard and loved. And when we exist in that pull energy, it means we pull, we pull abundance. We pull abundance of love and belonging and money and confidence, friendships, amazing team members. I mean, I look at Aaliyah and Sarah and Maria behind the scenes and the marketing team. I'm so grateful. The clients that come into my space, I pulled them and they're amazing women. I'm so grateful. And then we all get to be mirrors for one another and show up with presence for ourselves and presence in our relationship and look at how we lead and how we dream and how we create, right? Because we wanna be the CEO. Um, all right, 15 minutes left. I wanna finish up some logistics and I might have a little bit of time to go to day two workbook. So tomorrow we're talking about improving productivity, energy and focus for the bottom line. So I'm going to talk more about sleep, relationships, sensuality, and sexuality expression. Let's talk erotic blueprint. It's fun. We'll talk about more about mood and body composition and how to be the lighthouse rather than the woman who's drowning. Okay. So once again, same time, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time will be an hour and a half. That's 4 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. in the UK, 8 a.m. in Sydney, Australia. Do the math. And then Friday, we have the VIP day, which has the q and I'll have some women coming in and just sharing their real stories of what changed when they implemented, when they implemented these suggestions and my tried and proven system to see what changed as they showed up as the CEO of their life, okay? And then there'll be space for hot seats on Friday. So make sure you're connecting with your success advisor. Once again, in the workbook, Success advisor at mariahbrown.com and text message 541-904-4441. Um, 
send a text message, ask your questions, and then that way the team keeps all those questions and I'll be able to move through it on the VIP day. We're also going to have the team dietitian on on Friday, the team sexologist on on Friday, and I think the team trauma release specialist will also be on Friday. So you definitely, if you can, make that live. If not, watch the recording. And um, I just want to say out loud, for those of you that have worked with naturopaths and, and healthcare providers and coaches and programs, and you haven't found the solutions yet that you're really longing for, you don't yet feel spectacular, right? You haven't found a space where you really feel safe being fully exposed. Or you feel like it's kind of like cattle call, cookie cutter. What's my, what's my blood test? What's my diagnosis? What's my prescription? Um, keep advocating for yourself, okay? What you're gonna find with me is this is not about Band-Aid care over a festering wound, okay? This is about longevity and a lifestyle that's sustainable, okay? So these things that I recommend hopefully become things that become part of you day in, day out, week in, week out, month in, month out, year in, year out, chapter upon chapter, okay? So there is homework for today. The homework is what is one big aha and shift you will commit to. And so part of responding, and when you go into the Facebook group, Women Rocking Their Energy Hormones and Libido, you'll see that homework thread. Hopefully the team will be tagging everybody there. Part of the commitment to yourself is to announce it. You know, it's so fascinating. When we were kids at our birthday party and we were blowing out our birthday candles and making our wish, we were told, don't tell anyone or it won't come true. I call bullshit on that. I think it's the opposite. I think we get to find a community that wants us to rise and believes in us more than we believe in ourselves. And when we make the announcement and state the commitment, it is a statement to the universe and the universe knows one word and that is yes. So if you say, I am drinking more water, the universe says yes. If you say, I am implementing steps that will help my sleep become better, the universe says yes. If you say, I am tired and sluggish and this isn't working, the universe says yes. And for you, maybe that's God, maybe that's universe, maybe that's spirit. Insert whatever word works for you, okay? Reminder that we've got the giveaways. Swag bag, swag bag. Um, go find Mariah Brown, my business page, the one with me in the red wool. Um, sweater vest thing that's too big and <laughs> find that follow me find this live and just share it to your page and we'll keep track of everybody that shares this and we'll do it again the next three the next two days and someone wins a swag bag which is fun okay um the universe says yes absolutely i see you erica i used to drink coffee and caffeinated tea every day usually a cup or two and since being in Mariah's program, I have barely had any caffeine and I don't miss it. Yeah. And Erica, oh my gosh, so much has changed. Her bloating is gone. Uh, what else did we just talk about recently that was like, wow, big, big, huge changes. Pretty spectacular. We need to do a testimonial interview, Erica. Um, so just because it's common doesn't mean it's normal. Okay. If the company that you keep kind of like is your, um, what's the saying? Or you can just kind of like bitch at one another and all share, oh yeah, we agree. Yes, it's, all, it's so hard, I'm so tired, I'm working too hard, it's so hard, whatever it may be. Well, I think you get to reassess the company that you keep and be the CEO of your relationships. And just because it's common doesn't mean it's normal. So change your lens change the state through which you're looking through so we can shift what becomes normal in your world right or common in your world and reassess what is my normal my normal is you feel freaking spectacular you wake up with energy you have energy all day your mood is stable it will change we are dynamic we are women but the pendulum won't swing so far and it won't throw you off okay my normal is you have passion you have passion for your life for your lover and yourself. 
My normal is you get to build an amazing business that is profitable and fun and has ease and has flow. That you get to have an amazing thyroid and adrenals and gut health and I and there's so many things that I could say about that. That's my normal and that's my common. Okay, so what is your common and what is your normal and what needs to change as you show up as the CEO of your life and the CEO of your health. So once again, the homework is what is one big aha and shift you will commit to. Aaliyah, for those of you on Zoom, just put the link to the Facebook group in the chat. Um, grab it. You'll see the homework thread when this is all done. Please comment. Allow yourself to make a declaration. Here's something I'm committing to. Here's a big aha. Here's a shift that I'm going to make because I get to, as a kid, have my birthday cake and eat it too and blow out my candles and make my wish and let my loved ones know what my wishes are, particularly if they're loved ones that are here on a similar journey, desiring the same thing. And we all want to be the CEO of our lives and of our health. Okay. Let me take a check to look at the chat. What does it look like to have passion for yourself? Ah, you're asking me. Okay. Uh, for me, passion for myself means I have phenomenal sleep. I have moments where I feel deeply connected with my children, each and every one of them. Um, I set boundaries well in the morning and I fit in my morning sweat and um, exercise and meditation. It means I feel juicy and alive in how I look in the mirror and how I feel seen by my husband. It means I feel passionate about the food that I eat and I take pauses to relish in it. The things that I drink, the things that I see, the things that I feel, the things that I hear, and I take pauses to allow those things to be absorbed into my body and become who I am. It means I have a lot of sex and it's really fun sex and it's perpetually changing. Um, it means that I continue to reassess the work that I do in the world to make sure it feels really authentic to me. And when I need to pivot, I allow myself to pivot. When it's time to slow down to speed up, I allow for that pause. When I'm at my cap of drinking through a fire hose in regard to strategy, I allow for that pause and I trust that when my cup is filled up, my intuition is solid and I listen in. And it's always clear. It's always clear. And there's no wrong answer. What I know to be true is life is not happening to us. It's happening for us and by us. It's happening for me and by me. And when I'm making decisions from an abundance mindset, not from a scarcity mind mindset, from an abundance mindset, and I have filled up my cup, no matter what I do, it's spectacular. And I feel passionate about it. And I feel passionate about the lessons that come in and the effect of my actions, the effect of my choices. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I would add. It means travel. We're getting a puppy. I'm excited to cuddle with the puppy. Um, it means friendships that feel deep and loving and supportive with boundary setting. And there's recalibration. I'm really choiceful. I get to set boundaries with who's in my inner circle and who I really show my fully exposed self to. It means I get to be the midwife. I get to feel like my passion and purpose on the planet is being expressed on a daily basis as a midwife, um, holding space for women through chapters of change, to hold you in your surrender, to hold you in your trust, even when you feel like you're in a big storm. I am so passionate about you allowing yourself to say, yep, I'll allow myself to receive that, receive my support, 
receive the support of the programs that I've created and the courses that I've created and the retreats that I've built. That's me showing up in my passion. So Julie, thanks for asking the question. Okay, anybody else, anything else? Um, tomorrow, we'll get more into the workbook. I have Anna coming on to share her testimonial. And once again, whatever aspects of the workbook I don't finish by the end, we'll get, we'll get through it on Friday and it's all good. Okay, I wanna make sure that this is personalized and responding to you. So one word, one word in the chat. What's one aha? One takeaway. One thing that you're grateful for, just a word. In the chat. And I'll look over in Facebook empowered, owning all aspects of my life. Yeah. You know, that's the vibrant CEO. I tend to attract very ambitious women. And ambitious can mean a lot of different things in a lot of different ways, but it's a woman who's ready to take on the CEO role in every aspect of her life. Taking pauses to absorb more. Yeah. Yeah. It's like how many of how many of you eat your meal standing up at the counter in the kitchen with a bunch of water to scarf it down <laughs> versus taking a pause. Feel how grateful for you are that you have the food that you have. And allow your body to digest it and assimilate and absorb the nutrients and then excrete it and you'll have a great poop later on or you're going to pee it out. Whatever doesn't serve you, you get to just let go, right? We do that with everything. Yes, Sherry, I'm seeing me. <laughs> yeah, I love that your word is me, self-care. Yes, Wanda, self-care. Taking pauses to absorb gratitude every day. Yeah. And allowing the gratitude to be expansive. Surely, for those of you that, have, that run big businesses, you get to be grateful for whatever income is generated and impact you have in the world and hope that you have for the future. And can you do it while also feeling grateful for how you're treating yourself? The choices that you made, the ways in which you filled up your own cup today and celebrate it. We get to celebrate ourselves. All right, let me see if there's anybody who said anything in the Facebook. I don't know, the comments aren't showing up. I'm gonna have to look another, in another spot. Being seen, yeah, there's more coming. Yeah, there's always more coming. And yes, Whitney, we get to be seen. But we, we all have, it's an inner child desire. We want to feel heard. We want to feel seen. We want to feel loved. We want to feel accepted. And so I think that being the CEO of our lives start, starts with how do we treat ourselves? Do I allow myself to see myself? Do I allow myself to hear myself? Do I allow myself to accept myself? Do I allow myself to love myself? And my guess is when you spend more energy in that, you're going to start feeling heard and seen and loved and accepted by the people that are around you because you do it for yourself. Yeah? We get to do it for ourselves, not because we've earned it but simply because we are, we're spectacular and you're spectacular and I'm spectacular and I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful for your time. And for those of you watching the recording, I'm grateful for you and I'm grateful for your time because you made yourself a priority and that, my friend, I don't take lightly. I think is one of the most spectacular things we can do. All right, y'all are awesome. Please reach out to your success advisor. Um, Sarah is, you can even hop on a call with her. Just get to know her a little bit. And um, hopefully everybody has shared. Uh, let me know in the chat. Did you share? Put it in the chat. Did you share it in the Facebook? Did you share it to your page? Um, you're welcome, Julie. Hopefully you'll be back tomorrow and Friday. Sure did. Shared it. Thank you for all. Yes, shared it. Uh, backing you. Backing you? I, I'll sh I've shared. Absolutely. Link to share is above. <laughs> awesome. Just share it. So go into my page, follow, and then share. I can't wait to figure out who gets the swag bag. 
you could do the same thing tomorrow. You could put your name in multiple times. And I love that I get to support your community as well. And thank you for all your time. 2.30, voila. I'm going to go spend some time with family and have a good family dinner and go fill my up, cup up even more so I can pour into each of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, 1 p.m. Pacific. Invite your friends. Everybody's welcome. Reach out to your success advisor. <laughs> ciao, ciao.